Hey, we welcome you back to Sports Nuts, and this program is focusing on fighting in West Virginia. Royce Gracie was just out here, and he was just so fabulous. And here's a couple of local guys who are trying to follow in his footsteps, and they got big inspiration from one of the biggest names in the UFC, where we're joined now by the Hammer, Butch Hiles. And you live in Charleston, but you're originally from Cleveland, right, yeah. Butch? Yeah. Okay. And now we also have Billy A. Ash. And Billy, you're just a homie. I mean, you're from St. Albans. I'm from right down the road. Okay, let me talk to you first. Uh, we'll get to you, Hammer, in just a moment. But, Billy, you got a fight coming up. Yes, less than a month away. Okay, and so where is that competition going to take place? It's going to be in Lexington, Kentucky. And what weight class will you be in? Light heavyweight. And what uh, discipline will this be? This will be no holds barred. Same rules as the Ultimate Fighting Championship or UFC. Um, my background is mainly kickboxing, but I've been working a great deal with Butch here. And, uh, you know, always helping me out. And, uh, it's been phenomenal. So, Butch, let me ask you, you are the reigning United States martial arts super heavyweight division champion. Yeah. So you're so, bad and yeah. nationwide. No, yeah, that's, that's really not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. It's I mean, not? No. Yeah, I mean, I don't consider it a big deal. How, you know, well, you guys got a chance to, to meet Hoist <laughs> on your way into the studio and he left his UFC belt. Yeah. And I sure hope he doesn't mind if I keep this. <laughs> um, what's it like to, to rub elbows with one of the legends of mixed martial arts? It's, it's great as a fighter for Billy and, and uh, anybody at the gym. It's only going to make us better. Uh, if, if you're lucky enough to train with Hoist, you know, probably the, the toughest guy in the sport ever, um, we've got an edge on everybody else that we fight. And uh, you guys must take personal pride in the fact that he has such great name recognition that he literally has helped carry the sport forward mm -hmm. into the spotlight. Absolutely. I mean, growing up in St. Albans, there really wasn't a lot of buzz about mixed martial arts, right? Right. Yeah. But. Um as the years go by, you know, and, and I spread the word to all my friends at a younger age, and we spread all of, you know, we just met different people from here and there, and it's, it's grown so fast, it's unbelievable. So. Now, he's going to be in town, I guess, one night before he takes off. Are you guys going to get a chance to work with him? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. What kind of a thrill is that? That's unreal. This is the idol yeah. I grew up looking at on TV. So. so, Butch, have you got any special plans for him when he gets into his defensive position on his back? What, I mean, what can he do when he does that? Uh, we, we, we don't do too much. We just we tap a lot. And, you know, we tap <laughs> out. But, uh, yeah, I mean, basically, Hoist, when he comes in, he's going to be getting, getting our fighters ready for their fights by, by teaching us some stuff and make sure, and like you said before, make sure we're on the right track. All right, here's a stupid question. Uh, why do they call you the hammer? Uh, I, I don't know. I get... I throw hard punches, I guess. I don't know. Okay, and and Billy, we need a nickname for you. He's Have got you one. Of, oh, he, he does. does. He what does. what is Billy's nickname? Uh, he's the Punisher. The Punisher. Yeah. <laughs> All of his fights have ended in knockout so far. Well, that's great with that movie coming out. Yeah, I hope people don't get confused with the thing. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna sound bad in a couple of months after that movie's out. Yeah. So, so Butch, what are you training for? When's your next event? Uh, actually, I don't train too much anymore. Um, I own the gym that that Billy trains at and that Hoy's are coming to. So basically. I spend probably 90% of my time training the other guys. All right, well, let's give you a free plug. Where's your gym? It's in South Charleston. It's called Advanced Boxing, Kickboxing, Jiu-Jitsu. Um, if you're familiar with the mound, it's only 50 yards from the mound. So I'm sure most people want to be able to know where that's at. And what's the number down there? It, uh, it is actually my cell phone, which is 549-9370. Okay, so, all right. And anybody so, can call and come up. And so when you organize classes, do you, uh, can anybody come in off the street and yeah. sign up, or do you have schedules where you have to start at the beginning and go through um, the process? Anybody can sign up. We, we do have, we just kind of put you in different groups, like the beginner kind of group, uh, the advanced skill group. Uh, somebody like Billy and somebody off the street is not going to come in and spar with them because they, they might get hurt. So they're going to work their way up till they get, you know, to where Billy's at. But typically that doesn't take too long. Billy, uh, when you get ready for a fight, you're, you're training for a fight now. What's your training regiment like? What's a, what's a typical day for you like? Um, I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. I do medium weight training for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Take my vitamins, minerals, drink my water, eat a good healthy breakfast, lots of chicken. And uh, I, I have a day job right now working for a coal company. Okay. And once that's over with, I go, I go and I train with Butch from 6 to 10 at night. For you guys, what's, what's the ultimate goal here? Is it the ultimate goal to get to yes. ultimate fighting? And mm -hmm. how does that happen? Do they have agents that uh, look for fighters, or do you uh, submit tapes, or how does Promoters. that work? Promoters, yeah. Promoters, you submit tapes, get your name out there, and after you win a few fights, they'll start calling you, or, you know, my manager, you know, the butcher, yeah. so. In America, the UFC is the elite. I mean, that's where you want to be. Um, so it's hard to get into. Everybody that fights wants to be there. So you have to have undefeated record like Billy. That's what we're trying to work on, trying to get him at 5-0. and 0. 
and that's when you start talking to the guys. He's already talked to some people, uh, Bruce Buffer last weekend and, and stuff like that. So we already got the ball rolling. We just have to keep working. You know, the focus of this show, we're, we're talking about fighting and mixed martial arts in West Virginia. And right now, UFC isn't sanctioned to have a fight in West Virginia. So yeah. I think some people, um, right or wrong, have a tendency to look at your sport as, a, as an outlaw sport. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your reaction to that? It's unfortunate. It's, yeah. it's just unfortunate, and I think that the more the, um, you know, the general public is educated in the sport, they're going to understand that it's not, you know, you don't have so many uh, blows to the head. You got a lot of people tapping out because their arms getting ready to snap, or maybe they're getting ready to be choked out or passed out or whatever. But they don't. That doesn't happen. They tap out before that happens. And um, the sportsmanship in this sport is, is is like is unlike any other. There's no grudges. Not really. You know. I mean, yeah, people help each other up after the fight, and then they go and they go out and they celebrate together. You know. And it's uh, everybody just has a camaraderie with it. I think so. You know, um, I asked Hoist this, and um, I'll ask you this. When people know your background in mixed martial arts and they try to take you on, what do you do? I, when you know that you could pummel somebody into submission, but you know that's not the best thing for them or for you. That's what happens when you train. You don't you don't fight like Hoy says. I mean, because you you know better. I mean, you know what'll happen. And what people don't think also besides like, yeah, Billy might be able to you know beat some average Joe up in the bar, but that guy, the same guy, might come back stab him or shoot him. So I mean, you know, we're not looking to get into fights. Uh, we know that we can defend ourselves if somebody, you know, comes up from behind and attacks us, or you know, that's fine. But usually, you avoid confrontation for for the point that somebody could shoot you or stab you. Or, you know, I walk got away every single time. Do yeah. you? Yeah. All right, and you know, Hoist. It was so great to meet him, and his stock and trade is neutralizing mm -hmm. his opponent quickly. We're in our last minute of this segment. What's your stock and trade, Butch? <laughs> when you I, fight, I mean, what what's the best part we, of what you do? We like to be as well-rounded as we possibly can be. I mean, we do Muay Thai boxing, we do straight Western boxing, and we do Jiu-Jitsu. So, I mean, as hard as we possibly can, we try to be as well-rounded as we can. So that way we're comfortable on the ground, on our feet, anywhere the fight goes, we're, we're good. And that's what I try to be. I mean, I'm, I'm no hoist or anything. But Who is? I, yeah, yeah, exactly. What about so, you, Billy? If you want an unbiased opinion, you'll have to ask Butch. Because I honestly don't see myself in the fight very often. So. Yeah, he's he's a good stand up. He's good at everything. Also. Obviously, he's undefeated. So, well, Charles, appreciate your time. Thank, thanks hey, for having us, Billy Ailes. Good luck. Want to see a St. Albans boy do well? We'll have more on our show in just a moment. We're talking about fighting in West Virginia here on Sport Nights.